Recently, scientists have collected new data, giving them a better picture of Yellowstone's underground plumbing. Right beneath the caldera. Hello, everyone. In this video, we will be talking about the Yellowstone volcano, otherwise known as the Yellowstone caldera. This resting volcano has been giving signs of increased geothermal activity. Are these warning signs of a possible eruption? Stay tuned as we discuss more about this interesting occurrence. History of the Yellowstone Volcano Yellowstone National Park stretches across the northwest corner of Wyoming, reaching into Idaho and Montana. Founded in 1872, the Yellowstone Volcano is a significant feature of the Yellowstone National Park. The park was established in 1872 and is widely regarded as the first national park in the world. Situated on an approximate landmass of 3,468 square miles, 8,983 square kilometers, the park ranks among the biggest national parks in the United States. To the east and north, respectively, are the Absaroka and Gallatin mountain ranges that surround the park. One of the biggest lakes in North America at a height above sea level is the Yellowstone Lake. Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone, a breathtaking river canyon with imposing waterfalls, is located along the Yellowstone River, which flows through the park. Yellowstone is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including mammals, bison, elk, grizzly bears, black bears, wolves, moose, and bighorn sheep. Birds of different species can also be found at the park, and they include bald eagles, ospreys, peregrine falcons, and trumpeter swans. Located in Wyoming in the United States, Yellowstone has erupted three times in the past two million years. Known by many as the Yellowstone Caldera, the Yellowstone Volcano is a supervolcano that lies mostly in the U.S. state of Wyoming, with extensions into Montana and Idaho. For thousands of years, native people have resided in the Yellowstone region and use the region's geothermal resources for cooking and other needs. The area has been home to Native Americans for more than 11,000 years. In the early 19th century, mountain men made their first systematic explorations in the late 1860s. Our knowledge of volcanic and geothermal processes has greatly increased as a result of Yellowstone's significance as a focal point for geological and ecological research. Millions of tourists visit Yellowstone National Park each year, drawn by the park's breathtaking geothermal features, abundant animals, and natural beauty. Over the previous 2.1 million years, there have been several enormous volcanic eruptions that have built the Yellowstone caldera. The actual caldera measures roughly 30 miles by 45 miles, or 48 miles by 72 kilometers. There are over 10,000 thermal features in Yellowstone, including hot springs, mud pots, and steam vents. Yellowstone is famous for its geothermal activity, including geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles. The heat flow is estimated to be about 30 times greater than the global average. The most famous geyser is Old Faithful that gushes up gallons of hot water at intervals, making it a famous tourist site. Our attention turns to Yellowstone's geothermal wonders. The Earth's fiery core fuels a remarkable array of geothermal activity beneath the park's surface. Seismic activity is common in the area. Thousands of little earthquakes happen there each year, although majority are too little to be sensed. Constant observation reveals Earth deformation, which suggests magma flow. GPS and satellite data are used to track the rise and fall of the caldera's floor. 2.1 million years ago, Yellowstone erupted and covered over 5,000 square miles with ash. About 6,000 times the volume of material. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, Mesa Falls, and Lava Creek are three main eruptions from the past. Each of these eruptions were 10 times more powerful than the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Yellowstone has seen many lesser eruptions in addition to super eruptions such as lava flows. 
the most recent of which happened roughly 70,000 years ago. Yellowstone has erupted three times in the past two million years. This has led some people to wonder whether we should be worried about another Yellowstone eruption in the near future. Huckleberry Ridge eruption happened roughly 2.1 million years ago. This was the largest of the three major eruptions, ejecting approximately 2,500 cubic kilometers of material and creating the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, a caldera approximately 75 kilometers long. Mesa Falls eruption happened 1.3 million years ago. This is a smaller eruption that produced about 280 cubic kilometers of material and resulted in the formation of the Mesa Falls Tuff. The Lava Creek eruption took place about 640,000 years ago. This eruption ejected around 1,000 cubic kilometers of material and formed the Yellowstone Caldera, the most prominent volcanic feature in the park today. Resurgent domes like the Mallard Lake and Sour Creek domes are the result of post-caldera activity and show that magma flow is still occurring beneath the surface. Little earthquakes frequently occur in Yellowstone, which helps geologists in tracking the flow of hydrothermal fluids and magma. So when steamboat erupts, all that water has to go somewhere. And in fact, it flows down this channel and right across this bridge, you can see that the water was so intense that it actually piled up debris on this bridge right here. Yellowstone Volcanic Observatory is a joint venture between the National Park Service, the University of Utah, and the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS. They employ a variety of scientific methods to track volcanic activity. In order to provide information on tectonic activity and magma migration, seismometer arrays are used to detect and record earthquakes. Are technological tools used to measure ground deformation to track the rise and fall of the caldera floor. To learn more about magmatic processes, scientists monitor gas emissions, especially those of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. What happened the last time Yellowstone erupted? Yellowstone is an active supervolcano. Approximately 640,000 years ago, the Yellowstone supervolcano unleashed its most significant eruption. This occurrence is one of the biggest known volcanic explosions to have happened on Earth. The eruption was massive, ejecting an estimated 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles of volcanic material. This created the Yellowstone caldera, a large volcanic crater that spans approximately 30 by 45 miles. The global climate was significantly impacted by the eruption. Large volumes of volcanic ash were discharged into the atmosphere, probably causing a brief cooling spell known as a volcanic winter. Much of North America was affected by the ash fallout, which extended to the Gulf of Mexico. The current Yellowstone caldera was formed as a result of the eruption, which altered the region's topography. In addition, it produced a variety of geological phenomena that are still widely seen in Yellowstone National Park today, including fumaroles, hot springs, and geysers. Western North America. A sulfur haze would dim the sun. And plunge the eruption completely destroyed a great deal of the plant and animal life in the area, destroying local ecosystems. But ultimately, the region regenerated and new ecosystems started to emerge. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Increased geothermal activity around Yellowstone, smaller volcanic eruptions, and hydrothermal explosions have occurred in Yellowstone after the Lava Creek eruption, but none have reached the same magnitude as the most recent significant eruption. Experts are still keeping an eye out for potential future volcanic activity in the area. About 200 earthquakes have struck Yellowstone in the past two weeks. Alarms have been raised by this strange surge. 
Although there have always been earthquakes, tremors, and hot geysers at Yellowstone, since the year began, Yellowstone Volcano has had 151 quakes of magnitudes up to 3.3, two quakes above magnitude 3, five quakes between magnitude 2 and 3, 134 quakes below magnitude 2 that people normally don't feel. Seismic activity has recently increased dramatically in Yellowstone National Park, with approximately 200 earthquakes recorded in the last two weeks. When the Yellowstone volcano experiences numerous earthquakes, it is often an indicator of increased geothermal activity in the region. The movement of magma beneath the surface may be indicated by this series of earthquakes. Even though large earthquake swarms haven't produced eruptions in recent Scientists are nonetheless closely monitoring and analyzing them. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a YVO, continuously monitors seismic activity, ground deformation, gas emissions, and other signs to assess the risk of an imminent eruption. What would happen if Yellowstone erupts again? There would be devastating local and worldwide effects if the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted. Let's imagine what some of these effects would be. You know, it's first known as magma, but in this case, a lot of Yellowstone's magma won't be able to become lava. That's because it will be shot up into the sky. Massive explosions from the initial eruption would hurl up tons of lava and volcanic ash. The explosion would completely destroy anything within tens of miles. Flows of pyroclastic hot gas and volcanic material would move hundreds of miles per hour and spread out several miles from the eruption site, destroying everything in their path. And it won't just be any type of ash. These will be tiny, scorching little particles of jagged rock. Now this would affect nearly the entire United States. Also, thick layers of volcanic ash would blanket the region around the Yellowstone Park, collapsing buildings contaminating water supplies and making agriculture totally impossible. A great area of North America would be covered in volcanic ash, possibly even reaching the East Coast. This ash could harm people and animals. Tens of millions of people within 1,000 kilometers of the eruption would die. If you breathed the ash, which would be inevitable in a scenario like this, it would form a massive sulfur dioxide emissions could result in the formation of sulfuric acid aerosols, which reflect sunlight and lower global temperatures, resulting in a volcanic winter. Because of the decreased amount of sunlight, there may be a considerable drop in world temperatures over a number of years, which would disrupt weather patterns, shorten growing seasons, and result in a large number of crop failures and food shortages. The disruption of agriculture and global supply chains combined with the potential need for massive disaster relief efforts could lead to a severe economic downturn. A massive burden on health systems could result from the inhalation of volcanic ash and gases, which could cause respiratory problems for millions of people. There would be significant impact on ecosystems, with many species perhaps going extinct as a result of habitat degradation and climate change. It would take years, if not decades, to recover and restore the damaged areas, requiring enormous resources and global collaboration. Other volcanoes that have erupted in recent years, several volcanoes have erupted in recent years. Notable among them is the eruption on Mount Etna in Italy. Just like Yellowstone, this mount has frequent activity with notable eruptions in 2021 and 2022. Mount Etna is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Spewing ash and lava on Sunday, while Tal sits in a picturesque lake and is one of the most active volcanoes in a region where earthquakes and eruptions are a daily part. The Taal Volcano occurred in January 2020 in the Philippines. This eruption caused widespread ashfall and led to the evacuation of thousands of people in the surrounding areas. La Soufrière, Saint-Vincent and the Grenadines eruption occurred April 2021. This eruption forced the evacuation of around 20,000 people 
and cause significant damage to the island. The Fagradalsfjall, Iceland eruption, occurred March 2021. This was the first eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula in nearly 800 years, and it attracted many visitors due to its accessibility and spectacular lava flows. These are just a few examples, and there are many other volcanoes around the world that have exhibited activity in recent years. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.